sasonic acid, which is a long chain omega-3 fatty acid, which your eye, your eye consists of hyaluronic acid and DHA. Those are the main like building blocks of your eyes. And without those substances, we can get in real trouble. Hyaluronic acid <laughs> is very difficult to come by in a conventional diet. And that's why people have so many eye problems. Now, you take those and exacerbate them over a few generations, then we start seeing serious, because genetically, we can kind of make do without for a couple generations. Actually, Pottinger found it was by the fourth generation, we're in trouble. Um, we're right now into the fourth generation of like really, you know, not, not well. I mean, we, did, we didn't think about the minerals in the soil. We didn't even know what superfoods were. You know, we didn't really think about these things. Now we're kind of paying that price. We're like, uh-oh, we gotta like, fix this now. What else you can do, you can go at it topically in the eye. You can, with zeolite, to clean off any debris that's in the eye. Um, one drop of DMSO is something that you're gonna have to research yourself and look into that yourself, but it's just an option that I put on the table. I can't really recommend DMSO either way. You're gonna have to just, I'm putting that out there as an option. DHA DHA is, the traditional way to get it is from fish oil. Cod, cod liver oil is actually so toxic now that it's just off the table. I mean, I don't want to get, cod's going to be fished out of the ocean in less than 40 years. We're already within a time clock where within 40 years there will be no cod left in the ocean. I don't want to participate in that, that environmental catastrophe. So we're going to skip that. We're going to go to the next thing, which is, okay, where, where are the cod eating? Well, they eat the smaller fish that then eat what? Krill. You could go to krill oil. Where do the krill oil eat? They eat phytoplankton. You go directly to phytoplankton. And phytoplankton is really what you want for a child anyway, because phytoplankton contains growth factors. That's what builds the whale's nervous system is the phytoplankton. And really important for young growing children. I mean, I've seen a one-year-old raised from zero to one, um, the mom doing phytoplankton every day, and I see what the results are. Cognitive ability is you know, really different than anything I've ever seen before. And whales live about 150 years, and they're probably the most intelligent creature on the earth in terms of their nervous system. and you know, what they really are. And so well, we can have a little bit of that. That's Jacques Cousteau's gift. He said the future of nutrition is in the ocean. We have it now. Marine phytoplankton isolated to one more, most appropriate species for human consumption. It contains DHA, EPA, all the phospholipids, every protein known to humankind. It's the basis of the entire world's food chain. It contains ATP in pure form, so you don't actually have to convert any substance in it into energy. It's already in the energy currency of every cell. That means in one second, it's energy to your cells. Nothing has to be metabolized. I mean, this is what's in front of us now. The greatest discoveries in the history of the world in all areas, including nutrition. And it's not what we're going to be hearing about on, you know, NBC Nightly News. Why? Because that's controlled with an agenda. And that has a certain political and economic agenda. So we can't, we're not going to get it there. But guess where we can get it? Here. Right here. Right here. And we can get it on the internet for the first time. Awesome. And those are some ideas. And there's more. I mean, just, just doing raw food, just getting berries in your child's diet or your grandson's diet. Huge factors. Antioxidants. What the heck is an antioxidant? I cannot tell you how many books I read. Color. I cannot even mention it. How many books I read where it finally came down to like, okay, what the heck is an antioxidant? Next chapter. They wouldn't tell you because they didn't know. Because those nutritionists don't know. They're just copying everybody else. <laughs> What's an antioxidant? It's a pigment of color. Richness of different colors, right? And especially when you're dealing with the eyes and nervous system, if you get those pigments, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, huckleberries, whatever it is, with minerals and organic, right? So they're richly grown, they actually are organic, that's where you're gonna 